Hello everyone, this is my lab for E47 in which I build a data logger. And this data logger actually records information that is being read from this accelerometer down here. So as you can see, the instructions tell me to press a button. So I'm going to go ahead and press this left button right here, which is actually the recording button, which I put a red LED to signal that it's recording. And you probably guessed, but this other button right here is actually for playing which is with the green LED. As for this yellow LED, I put in another function which if you press either of the buttons twice in a row, um, it will pause either the recording or the, the replay. So I could demonstrate that a little bit later, but let's go ahead and start recording something here. So as you can see, we are reading some values. It's a little jumpy because the values in red are kind of like I guess having a hard time being divided um, between either, I guess in, you can see X's case right here, uh, 365 and 364, etc. So we have three values here, X, Y, and Z, which corresponds to the different axes that are being read again from this accelerometer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how tilting it upward will affect the X value right here. So it should go from 360 to about 500. So let's go ahead and do this. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and put it back down. So back to 360. And you could do this with all the other, like, like Y and Z too, depending on how I end up switching this. So you see Z right there gets a little bit changed. But yeah. So there you go. So why don't we go ahead and try the pause function here. So I pressed it and you saw it paused. So it tells me again to press a button. And as you see, the yellow LED is lit up. So I'm going to go ahead and record what we already just, or replay what we just recorded into EEPROM. And EEPROM is this non-volatile data memory that is stored inside the Arduino right here. So, so let's go ahead and push replay. And here we go. You see that X, Y, and Z are being read back to us from what I stored in EEPROM. Um, I can show you that if I tilt it, it's not going to affect it because it's still replaying. So in this case, it might take a little bit of time, but we may eventually see the X switch back to 500 as it continually reads out what I had already stored in previously. So let's just watch for a couple more seconds and then we'll see. Oh, there we go. I think getting a little bit of something. No, just a false alarm. Well, anyway, this is my data logger. Thanks.